Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to watch the 2Ks of the GB Start program. But before we get into that and we go into the sports village here at the University of Bath where the GB Start program for rowing is, I would like you to do two things to really help out the channel. Number one, hit that subscribe button. If you've already subscribed, I really appreciate if you hit that like button. But now that that is out the way, we're going to head into the sports training village here at the University of Bath, where the GB Start program is here for rowing, and then get on with some 2Ks, and then talk to the coach about sort of what the GB Start program is all about here, and see how the 2Ks get on. Oh, yeah. And we've made it to the rowing machines pre-2K, so warm-ups will be happening now. Very, very important before a 2K to warm up. At the very, very least, just to avoid the extra amount of stinging that is going to happen if you don't for the start of the 2K. So warming up now, a lot of people have their own individual warm-ups, but if you don't, if you aren't used to warming up, I'd recommend just getting sweaty without too much effort, if that makes sense. So just a steady, steady piece on the air or on the bike or whatever it is you're comfortable with until you're sweating. And once you're used to doing that, then you can start adding sort of bursts and pieces of pace and getting used to the pace that you're doing for the 2K, but getting warm, getting sweaty pre-2K or pre-any intensity piece is very important. So we'll watch these guys get warmed up and then get on to the 2K itself. Oh, yeah. An important part of the 2K is setting up your drag factor and really if you have a standard to use, if you're being told to use a standard, well that's what you use. So for example, the GB rowing standard for testing is 138, but throughout the world there are very different standards ranging from 110 to 140. So really I believe it's a, a personal preference depending on you as an individual, whether you're very very strong very very fit combination of the two but if you do have that like i said standard to go by stick to that otherwise have a bit of experimentation and figure out what works for you back to the warm-up the warm-up so just finishing up now it's time to start the 2k Thank you. 
And another opportunity for these athletes to do a 2K to put themselves into the pain cave and see how fast they can go for 2K. Looks like it hurt quite a bit. Oh yeah, but some of these scores are pretty much between 6.15 and 6.30 and they're keeping on progressing. Oh yeah. And we've finished up the 2Ks. We've got the head man, Dan Harris, here. Oh yeah, and we're going to have a little bit of a chat about what is the GB Start program and I'll take it away. So we just finished the 2Ks. What are yeah. they trying to do? What's the point of the GB Start program? Well, the whole point of the GB Start program is trying to get people who not necessarily ever road before to complete novices in we look for a certain height certain arm span and we test them as a non rowing test on a swim bike and a dyno for strength and then um, we basically try to teach them to row get them started and then get them ultimately into the gb team in the future yeah and so these guys just finished their 2k what so how long have they been going for so the mixture, so you've got some guys who've talent transferred from, well, the newest guy from swimming. He started rowing in November, so that's his first 2K that he's oh, ever done. Oh, and done, right? Yeah, got in, in, in the 20s, yeah, 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 that was good. And, um, and then the other guys have been, like, four years as the most, and then most of them have literally been rowing a year. So, it's, and like you said, it's, it's taking people, like someone from swimming, using what they've built in swimming, yeah. And taking it into yeah, the yeah, we get a lot of success from the talent transfer athletes. Yeah. So coming from like rugby, swimming, some netballers, that sort of thing, like athletes basically, yeah. and trying to then turn them into like non athlete roles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much, Dan. Hopefully, we'll see you and some of these lads yeah, for sure. in some international competition. But that will be it for today's episode, Jam Squad. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And as always, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. And again, hopefully see these guys somewhere on later on in the rowing career. Oh, yeah.